it's time for another 31 Days of War 2016 Toronto After Dark Film Festival Edition with Anti-Birth. That's right, Anti-Birth. Um, a film that I would say is like a an episode of like the X-Files on, on LSD. Um, it's got... Uh, conspiracy theory, um, uh, I guess maybe alien, I don't know, um, <laughs> and lots of drugs, lots and lots of drugs. <laughs> it's, uh, directed by Danny Perez, who hasn't really done anything, so you're not gonna know who he is, but it stars Natasha Lyonne, um, she's the main character, and it, Essentially, um, if you don't know her, she, she's from like American, the American Pie movies, um, and most recently, um, the star of Orange is a new, is the New Black, um, along with all sorts of other ones, um, and this was actually written for her with her in mind, so it's no. I don't. I didn't find it uh, odd to see that she is playing a character who I kind of would associate with her as well. She has this kind of uh, typecasting, I guess, uh, of being um, this type of a uh, of a character. Um, and she may be this way in person. I don't know. Um, but she is a a young woman who is constantly, constantly um, uh, under the influence of something. Uh, I don't think she's a, a moment sober. Um, she's popping pills. Uh, she's smoking up. She's doing bongs like every time she comes through the door of her trailer or, or you know, her mobile trailer home type thing. Um, uh, she's, you know, immediately <laughs> smoking up. Um, all the well, like she gets, it starts off with her at a party, um, and you know she she blacks out, and then right off the bat, it's like the next day or next couple of days later, and it's like, oh, I'm not feeling so good, and somebody's like, I think you may be pregnant, and you know, this is some kind of accelerated birth uh, or pregnancy where she <laughs> she is uh, getting much much very very large over a short period of time. Meanwhile, she's constantly boozing up, constantly smoking, and I guess because she's pregnant, though maybe she was like this before, constantly munching. Always wants the food, always wants the junk food. Lots of junk food, put it in my face. Um, and she, she, you know, her, I guess her, her, her best friend or her confidant um, is played by uh, Chloe Savigny. And if you know, you should know who she is. If you don't, you'd probably recognize her if you saw her. But uh, I know her most from like uh, Big Love. Um, uh, I loved her in that. But she was also uh, in like uh, uh, what was it Portlandia and uh, uh, Zodiac. And uh, I think she started off. Her first role was in um, the movie Kids if you remember that one, um, from Larry Clark, kind of controversial film. Um, but yeah, I believe that was her first film. Um, and she tends to do stuff that's kind of a little, uh, you know, not mainstream. So I, I wasn't surprised to see her in, uh, something like this. Um, and again, she, she's, she doesn't quite hit the, the um, substance uh, as as much as uh, Natasha's character, but she's still you know they're friends they're out they're partying they're 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 consuming a lot of uh, um, s illegal substances as well as legal substances, um, and yeah, it, it literally is a story of what. You know Natasha Leon's character uh, deems a you know like an immaculate conception, um, and meanwhile she's having all this really weird and you know you know how sometimes you you know your body changes and stuff like this. Well, she's getting like 
pus and and skin ripping off and all this kind of stuff. Like really stuff that just should not be happening when you're pregnant. Um, at least not to this extent. Um, you know, some people, you know, that have some hair loss and such, you know, there's a lot of things that do because hormones and stuff are changing, but the, what, um, <laughs> Natasha's character goes through is a little bit, um, how dare we say uncommon. <laughs> um, and essentially that's what the, you know, the movie is about, uh, um, and her interactions and, and, and such. Um, the rest of the cast is filled out by Meg Tilly, who, and you probably know her, um, but you're probably thinking of Jennifer Tilly, who maybe, I'm probably related to her, um, but Meg Tilly was in, um, Psycho 2, uh, Body Snatchers, uh, and you may know her from Bomb Girls, I think that was a, a short-lived television series, um, but she was in a few other things, but not a lot, she's not in a lot, but you'd probably recognize her if you saw her. Um, and who, and she's just essentially like a drifter who comes in and, uh, she, um, is trying to, uh, I guess defeat the aliens, right? She, she's, uh, uh, somebody who's big into, um, UFOs and such. I will call it, we'll just say that. Um, then we've got, uh, Mark Weber who plays a drug dealing pimp of a, I guess, a boyfriend to Chloe's character, um, and somehow involved in every, you know, everything, and most people are going to know him because recently he was just in Green Room, um, a film I, I really, really liked, um, but he's been in everything from, uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, I um, mean, he, when he was younger he was in Snow Day, um, 13 sins even um and so you may you may recognize him you may not he hasn't done anything you know too front and center other than the green room i think that you that's most recently you may you may kind of look at him and go oh you're kind of familiar and that would probably be where um and then finally his sort of like henchman i guess his sidekick of sorts uh played by maxwell mccabe locos who um, you're probably not going to know, really. I mean, he was in Wolves, if you saw that. Um, uh, the Other Half. I think I have The Other Half somewhere. Um, and uh, Happy Town, uh, Max Payne. Um, small little roles here and there, but I think he's somebody you should, you should keep an eye on. Um he has this look to him and he is he's he, he's quite good at uh, of an actor so i wouldn't be surprised if people start tracking him down he may get typecast as a result um but i think i think we may see a lot more of him um uh, you know i mean he wasn't anything spectacular here because he's sort of a side character but when he is there, he is he 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 kind of, you know he's really really good in the the role that he's given. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, combine that with the look, which is you know not your normal you know clean cut chin you know type of uh, pretty boy type of look you see uh, coming out of of California these days. I I I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot more of them. Um, now, Anti-Birth in general, um, honestly, it felt like it was a short film that was really expanded out to make an entire feature. Um, a lot of nothing happens for most of the film. There are little blurbs here and little blurbs, blurbs there of, of something interesting, um, but most of the, the, the film really is uh, Natasha Leone's character, you know, talking and you know the stuff happening to her and and doing drugs and and you know essentially living life while dealing with this pre you know weird pregnancy um and and yeah just constantly you know abusing some 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 kind of substance um but 
you stick with it, A, because there are, like I said, there are moments of of something interesting happening, but mostly because she, is, the, A, the dialogue is really, really good, and she is phenomenal at, at portraying this particular character. Like I said, it's kind of her thing. It was made for her. She fits the role. Um, but, yeah, you, you kind of stick with it, and if you're a fan of hers, then I think you're, you'll totally dig that. But, this is a film where you really have to stick it out until the end because the end is where the payoff is and it is such a good payoff that I think um, yeah I think I think uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised I'll leave it at that um, like I said it's not the greatest uh, of films in general I really wish it had more and it wasn't so like I loved the ending. Love, love, love the ending. I wish there was more of the ending throughout the film. You know? And it wasn't just at the end. But, you know, what are you going to do, right? Like, <laughs> that's the end reveal. Um, but, I mean, there could have been stuff. There really could have been stuff. Not a problem. So, yeah. In regards to Andy Birth, would I recommend it? Mm, it's if you like your films to be um, kind of fucked up uh, a little on the gross side with good heapings of bizarre and and <laughs> and just being like really kind of messed up I think that you'll probably really enjoy this. If uh, obviously, if you're a fan of Natasha Leone, this this you'll you'll love this movie because it is her. It is her like her thing. It really is her thing. Um, regular viewers of, of of horror movies and such probably will not like this until the end. Um, and I, um, honestly, I <laughs> I would have no problem saying you know what fast forward through a lot of it watch here watch there i'm sure if somebody just cut it down they could probably do a, a 10 minute version of this film or maybe a 15 minute version of this film and compress it into something and have it be really really uber entertaining but yeah for most people it's not going to be their thing uh, i you know like i said i really wish there was more throughout the film and not just at the end so I, I was only giving it like a two and a half out of five um, it's it's decent the dialogue is great but there really isn't much happening throughout most of the film which kind of sucked so yeah and that and honestly I, I'm not the biggest Natasha Leone fan I think she's fantastic for what she does like this role top notch but I've never really dug any of her characters Maybe that's it. I just don't like the character she plays. I don't know. So, yeah. There you go. That is Anti-Birth from director Danny Perez starring Natasha Leone, Chloe Savini, and Meg Tilly, I guess. I think Meg Tilly was on the poster, so she's a big name. Um, and Mark Webber. And hopefully we'll see more of, of Maxwell McCabe Locos as well. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, let me know if you've seen it and if you agree with me or not. Um, is it, is it worth sticking to the end? I think so. But no spoilers. This is a movie where you, you gotta keep it to yourself. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.